This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 where the world designs electronics and Octopod the world's fastest component search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode you will learn how to make an IoT based water level monitoring and motor control system using the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module, the waterproof JSN-SR040 ultrasonic sensor. Just don't worry if you see AJSR04 imprinted on the module. JSN-SR040 and AJSR04M are exactly the same. The only difference is that the AJSR04M has an empty location for a resistor and the JSN-SR040 doesn't have it. The amazing thing about this ultrasonic sensor is that it comes with a long wire due to which it can be easily installed. Anyway, for this project, we will also need an SPRT type relay to control a water pump and the new Blink V2.0 for monitoring the water level. Well, I have already created several videos on the water level monitoring system, but today's IoT based water level monitoring system is different from those projects because many things have changed in the last few months. For example, Blink V1.0, which was also known as Blink Legacy, has now been replaced by Blink V2.0. Additionally, this time I'm using the JSN-SR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensor instead of the normal HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. Well, you can use any of these ultrasonic sensors, but technically speaking, if you are willing to spend more, then you should go for the JSN-SR040 waterproof ultrasonic sensor because it is a more advanced ultrasonic sensor that has a longer sensing range of up to 6 meters and a higher accuracy of up to 1 millimeter. It operates at a wider voltage range of 3 to 5 volts DC and has a built-in temperature compensation feature that helps to improve accuracy even in varying temperatures. However, the JSN-SR040 is relatively more expensive than the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. In our house, water tank is located at a significant height so we cannot check the water level in the tank. This often leads to the water running out and with the frequent power outages in our area, it becomes very difficult once the water runs out. To avoid this situation, I have created a prototype model of a water level monitoring and motor control system. With the help of this project, now I can monitor the water level from any part of the world. This is fully automatic. When the water level decreases below a certain level, the motor is automatically turned on and when the water level increases to a certain level, then the motor is automatically turned off. You can think of this bulb as the water pump. This is a 220 volt AC bulb. If you want to control a large water pump, then you can use a power relay. I already have a video on the IoT power relay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As usual, I'm using my ESP32 development board, but you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. Out of these four relays, I'm using only one relay and it's connected to the GPIO pin 12. The VCC and ground pins of the waterproof ultrasonic sensor are connected to the ESP32 3.3 volt and ground pins. Whereas the trigger and echo pins are connected to the GPIO pins 25 and 26 respectively. So that's all about the connections and still if you think you have missed anything, then you can follow this circuit diagram. You can download it from our website electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and start with the BlinkWeb dashboard setup. Ultium 365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select My Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select Workspace Members. Click the Invite Workspace Members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the Aid Members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data, click the Invite button to complete the process. 
specifying the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. There is nothing complicated, just follow the same exact steps. For the step-by-step -step explanation, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. Besides this, I also have a very detailed getting started video on the ESP32 and the new Blink V2.0. Copy this code and paste it in the programming. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. Everything is ready, so let's go ahead and upload the program. On your site, make sure you change the SSID and password and also set the empty tank distance and full tank distance values. You can see the code has been uploaded and now let's go back to the Blink dashboard and let's see if the ESP32 is going to send me the water level. Great. Next open the Blink IoT application on your mobile and follow the same exact steps. For detailed explanation read my article. Now I'm going to explain how to install this ultrasonic sensor over the top of a water tank and how to calculate the water level percentage. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's think of this bucket as the water tank and we have to measure the water level inside this tank. For this, first install the ultrasonic sensor. Then using the Blink application check the distance value when the tank is empty. I want my motor to turn on before the tank completely gets empty. So I'm going to select 25 centimeter as the trigger distance. So when the water level inside the tank is at 25 centimeter, the motor will automatically turn on. Then fill the water tank to the desired level 
and check the distance value. Then reopen the code, update the values and upload it again. So my water level monitoring and motor control system is ready. So let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Right now, as you can see, the bulb is on as the water tank is empty. As I said earlier, think of this bulb as the water pump. So the water pump is on. Let's fill the water tank and see if the motor will automatically turn off. As you can see the bulb is just turned off as the water tank is filled to its desired level. Now I'm going to empty the water tank and let's see if the bulb will turn on automatically. In the next video, I will use LoRa for the monitoring and control and this way we won't need the Wi-Fi connectivity. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.